I'm Henko, and today I'm going to be doing a product tour of this Acer Aspire 1 AO531H netbook. It's a really neat netbook. It runs Windows 7, so you've got the latest of um, the Windows line of operating systems. Uh, it's Windows 7 Starter Edition, so it may not have all the full features, but it's still a great OS and it's really fast for running on netbooks. It has an Intel Atom processor, which is the netbook processor from Intel, so it's up to date processor wise. It's got one gigabyte of memory, um, which, uh, although it's not the biggest you can get, it's great for a netbook, it's a great size. Um, and although it may only have one gig, it runs really fast for a uh, netbook. Um, it has a 160 gigabyte hard drive, so it's it's quite a decent amount for uh, all your files, your music, your pictures, um, a bit of video. Obviously, you can't store all your video on here if you're like me and record a lot of video then obviously it's not going to store on here because it's 160 gigs it's it's fair enough it's good um, and it's great for a netbook storing all your documents perhaps doing presentations and stuff great on there um, it's got a multi card reader so it reads a lot of card types usually the standard small ones perhaps not like um, compact flash uh, not so much the bigger ones, but just the smaller ones, such as SD, XD, things like that. It will read your cards. It's got 802.11B and G wireless LAN, so you can connect it up to your Wi-Fi network very easily. It hasn't got wireless N, which is the latest in Wi-Fi technology, but, you know, wireless G, it's still going to run pretty fast, and wireless N, it's not... It's not going to affect your internet speed as such, it's more for transferring files over the network, so uh, are you really going to be doing a lot of file transferring over this? Probably not. Um, but yeah, so but it's got wireless G, so it's pretty good Wi-Fi anyway. It's got an Acer Crystal Eye webcam, which is optimised for low-light video chatting, uh, so you know, you can chat online using video, you can record videos on it even, um, in low light conditions as well. It's got a webcam built in. And it has a 6 cell lithium ion battery, which will probably last around 6 hours, um, 5 or 6 hours probably, you'll get battery life out of this, which is pretty good for this small thing. Now the battery is actually quite weird, it sticks out the back in a way, so um, let's get on with this video tour of the Acer Aspire 1 AO531H. Okay, so here we go. This is the network up closer. As you can see, you've got Windows 7 running right there. Let's start up at the top. Up here at the top you have your Acer Crystal Eye webcam, um, optimised for low light conditions, so you're going to get some good video chatting and stuff out of that. Going down, you've got your 10.1 inch screen, um, which it may seem small at first, but trust me, I got used to it, and going back to my normal laptop after that, it felt really big, my normal laptop. Acer logo there, you've got a lovely keyboard good sized keys so for ease of typing and you get your touchpad with one button here that parts left and that's parts right obviously for left and right clicking down here you've got your stickers Intel Atom Windows 7 and Energy Star and just a few of the features are on those stickers there along here you've got lights a battery indicator and Wi-Fi um, this is for when it's charging or when the battery's low, this uh, indicator will come on, and this is for when wireless is active, which it is now. Up here, there's some more lights. This one's for hard drive activity, that one's for numlock, and that one's for caps lock. And then on the other side, you have your power button. Moving on to the left-hand side. At the back, we have your VGA port to connect it to your monitor. 
your Kensington laptop lock, um, one USB port, a vent, card reader, and SD expansion slot. Along the front you've got a little Wi-Fi switch there, and then on the right hand side there is a headphone and mic jacks, um, two more USB ports making a total of three, your power socket to plug your netbook's power adapter in, and finally an ethernet port for if you use wired, not wireless. Now let's just close the lid up and get a closer look. So this is what it looks like and you can see here the battery protrudes like this so it's actually the battery sits at the back which although may seem a bit weird at first it's actually a really good way of doing things uh, there's the bottom not much to see there so this is the netbook overall and it's really light weight so that was a product tour of the Acer Aspire 1 AO 531H. Thanks for watching. See you next time.